So uh, just, just, I'm going to give a brief introduction about you know, where we are and what we're doing. And then uh, I will go through the open data portal just to give us an introduction of how to do things, how to search for information, and how to actually you know, send in requests to the kind of things we think that we, uh, is valuable and we do after that. So uh, what is the kind of open data initiative? So this is a move by the government to make data that should actually be public, public and, and free to any, anyone, any citizen to actually use. Uh, we, I don't know if you've all heard about something called the data hacking syndrome, where you know if I have data, I feel very powerful, and I don't want to give you that data because at any given point, you know, someone important may call me asking for that data. But with the open data platform, uh, we're pushing the government into, there's a lot of data that should actually be made public, uh, to anyone, but then a lot of you know institutions are still like no this is data you know, matters of national security. So this, this this initiative is trying to make data open so that it can be turned into useful applications. There are very many developers here uh, to support transparency and accountability. Where is my CDF money going? Uh, what, what is my uh, MP doing with our money? Uh, what initiatives are being done by the government? What tenders are being given? Who won the tender? You know, what is needed? Uh, then making sharing data between the public sector and partner, uh, pub the public sector partners, sorry, more efficient. So uh, the new constitution, we still call it new matters, you know, we had it in 2010, uh, has the Article 35 bill that gives the right to freedom of information for all citizens. So let us exercise that right and uh, get data. So good characteristics, uh, the characteristics of good data, this is, this sounds more like a class letter right now. Uh, it's accurate, it's organized, it's timely, it's uh, verifiable, accessible, economical, and usable. And this is what the Kenya Open Data Initiative is driving at. You know, we have data right now, we, we still have problems that, you know, this data is not accurate, uh, these sets are not uh, reflecting this kind of information. But this is raw data that we get from the institutions. So we are working really hard at trying to make the data we have, you know, uh, turn into these characteristics so that it's good and usable data. Uh, sorry about that. It was complete, but I love it. But um, this is a question for all of us. I need five volunteers, anyone. Just stand up if you want to volunteer for this question. The question is not on the board, so. <laughs> Any five minutes? Thank you. Any one more? Thank you. Normally, I, uh, we have six, which is fine. Normally, I go like, we don't have any ladies in the house. Um, so, out of this, I want us to spend just about 15 seconds. Think of these as two separate slides. And then, um, I want you to tell me a story about one. So think of them as two uh, separate pictures. I want you to tell me a story about one. When, when you're done uh, in 15 minutes or before that, you already tell me a story. You raise your hand. Like 
I'll talk about the photo. It's um, symbolic in a way, and it shows that um, the older generation have really been affected by the drought. I don't know what was in that other part of the photo. No, it's a complete picture of her. That's her, yeah. 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 Uh, looking at the photo, I'm seeing a story of poverty, just by the way the woman is dressed, and the background, I'm imagining that is a home, a house. 